Um, hey guys, so currently I'm designing some cover to upload to Instagram. Um, they somewhat look like this. I hope you like it. Well, in general, my designs tend to have a, a masculine look. I want them to look strong. And if you want to design it yourself until the end of this video, you should be able to do that. Now, as usual, I'm using the tool named designbone.com as you see. I'm in the profile page. Okay, the profile page allows you to review every single design that you made before um, in this tutorial i'm using a free account if you don't want to pay you can conveniently create an account on designmo.com however you can also create uh, a premium account as well okay so now to create a new design click create new then you should be um, redirect into a page where there are tons of provided templates. In the left-handed bar, you can find the major categories of templates like social media, ebooks, marketing, events, etc. In this case, I want to design a custom dimension. I want to create an uh, Instagram design. Well, images on Instagram are in square shape, therefore I will create a, a custom dimension, uh, 1000 pixels. Click create design. Now you are in a, a blank workplace. Your design in the blank square on the right hand and the tools from design are placed on the left hand. Instagram image is ready to touch on. So first of all, we need to choose the fashionable background, right? Here, design will provide a mouthful of choices between plain colors and simple texture background. However, I'm going to choose my background for the upload field. In this area, you can see images I have uploaded previously. Uh, uploading images is super easy. Click upload your images and choose the image you want. Click upload. Of course, back to the design. I just have to drag and drop my favorite images to make it go into the background this one scale it a little bigger and then position it here so that I can later uh, input text somewhere in the center not to hide the face for the second step a little tip is that you should not have your text right onto such a colorful background like this Otherwise, viewer won't know where to focus on your design. So to prevent this, a simple trick I use is getting a layer of maybe black color on top of this design. Well, I choose shape. Here I choose a simple square. Scale it bigger. Maybe I want to choose a black color. Well, of course, now you will see only the black color. Because um, the black color is solid in front of your background, you can fade this layer by readjusting the transparency, maybe to uh, 80%. Alright, now moves to the next part, which is text, right? Art heading. First and foremost, I choose the white color, apparently, since the background is black. Then I type my text, which is you can have any color as long as black. Okay. Um, after that, I will go into the details. And you may still remember that uh, at the beginning of this video, I have pointed out that I want my design having a masculine look. Therefore, I'm thinking about a thick and huge typography, right? Um, let's see this phone. Maybe Anfar Slap one. While this phone gives you kind of good looking strength, however, having the footage makes the text a little too bulky. And since I want a more modern look, 
I'm going to choose another font. Well, I'm going to choose Monteras. Um, next, to make it look even stronger, choose uppercase and bold to emphasize the text. Okay. A little tip to make your text easier to read is to reshape the text box. Well, you can see here, like a little change here, make a huge difference. All right. So considering the text only is nice enough. However, in my opinion, the space in between lines are too big, in my opinion, which makes the overall look less coherent. A solution to this problem is very simple. Um, I just need to lessen the line spacing by um, clicking the arrow here and choose line spacing and scale it until it's pretty enough in your favor. I think it's enough. Well, so I just made a very strong and coherent unit of main text here. Next, I will add a little signature right down below by clicking add body text, change it to white, of course, type in the name Henry Ford. This is very famous quotation from Henry Ford. Well, to make the signature suit the overall and emphasize the text even more, I will choose a skinnier font, maybe uh, Alertico, Alertico thin. Well, I think I have finished a decent design ready to upload to Instagram. Do you like this look and feel? Um, uh oh, if you don't, well, don't worry, you can shift the entire mood of this image by changing the background color, maybe red color. Look here, you see the text is absolutely highlight while the atmosphere has been totally changed. You can also play with different colors like red and blue. It seems like red is my favorite color. Yeah, I will keep it. Kind of sexy look. Well, what do you think? I think my design is done. And if you're focusing, I think it's only take about um, five to seven minutes. And finally, in order to save it, simply click download it to my computer. You may change the name if you want to, wait a few seconds and it's all done. As you can see, design is not that difficult and it can be for everybody. Well, thanks for watching. If you like my tutorial, please click like and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to share this to your friends. Huge thanks. Um, see you later.